How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are checking out the LRSTR Carnival Goku at Max Link's Rainbow Status. Uh, last time we showed these guys off, they were 55%. We've been using them at 69% mostly uh, for a while now, but since we pulled on the part two LR banner for this year's Christmas celebration with the LR Super Saiyan trio, we actually pulled these guys to rainbow status. So we're going to show them off Max Link's rainbow status here. So just a quick refresher on what they're doing. Uh, they're getting key five attack and defense 150%. They get super class allies key two and defense 50%. They reduce damage received by 30% and they get an additional attack and defense 50% with each attack received up to 75%. They get an additional key 2 starting from the turn in which they receive the 5th attack, and they foresee enemy super attack within the attacking turn from the next turn onward after they receive the 10th attack in battle. They also get attack 50% and launch an additional super attack uh, when key is 24, or when activating the active skill. Now, the neat thing about them is on their 18 key, they are actually raising attack and defense for the turn for the... Uh, all allies right so by 50 percent sorry not attack defense attack so this it's kind of crazy because he can actually buff the allies so we're going to test them on one of their new 200 percent leaders the last time we tested them was on yamcha's lead so now we're going to test them on the lr super saiyan so let's go ahead let's hop on in let's here all right so we do have them turn two which is going to make things kind of hard, right? Because their trick is you got to get them built up by being hit. Alrighty, so basic plan is we're going to have one rotation of bird coup and these guys and the other rotation of carnival goku and uh the other set of these guys so uh, i i feel like he is a good asset to this team much like the bird coup we'll show we'll do another show game for bird coup as well at rainbow max links with these guys but both of these guys got a brand new home on this team and they work really well despite both of them being super saiyan gokus All right, there we go. We sneak in another super there. Excellent. All right, quite a bit of attacks here. So actually, this is really good for us. All right, so we will get there. Um... 18 key, which is good. That's what we want out of them. So 200k start turn defense and with 30% attack attack and defense a 30% damage reduction and building 15% attack and defense every time we get hit here. So this is going to be they're going to be significantly stronger after this turn. All right, nice. And here go the LR Super Sands. Probably gonna finish the job right here. Ah, uh, with the normals, how sad. All right, very nice. Alrighty, so All 
Let's grab that with Bird Coup and let's send these guys off. The nice thing about these guys is, you know, I mean, as you guys have seen, we, we, we just tear through these events, right? Bird Coup is going to get his own little build up here. And then uh, LR Super Saiyan, Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks are just going to rip through uh, Oceanus. Very nice. Hey, we get another super out of him. Alright, we got a couple of attacks there. So let's take a look here. Um, Alright, so 400k defense. Alright, so we'll grab this. So we're gonna get a little bit extra attack. So look at that attack. So we've got we've got fifty percent extra attack on this turn. We are supported by the Bardock, right? He is giving allies um thirty percent, so not bad. Alright, so let's go ahead. Let's take these hits. The difficulty is going to be with them starting turn two. I don't know if in this event we'll be able to get all ten hits unless the next turn that they should. So we'll we'll delay the next turn a bit. We'll avoid super attacking as best we can. Um, and we'll try to get this guy hit one more time. But very, very nice on those three super attacks. Uh, but as you can see here, the, the benefit of them is buffing uh, the LR next to them. Look at that, jeez. Uh, buffing the LR next to them with that super attack effect. Alright, so let's do this number. Alright, so we're going to avoid super attacking. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Birdku sneaking in there with that 9 million attack stat, though. Look at him. There you go. And now he's finally fully built up. Alright, so we're not going to do as much damage to, uh, this time. Although I just realized they could possibly take a super. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Perfect. And the Vegeta takes a super, though. How much does he take here? Kind of a lot. But we're good after that first hit. Excellent. Alright, excellent. So, now we can do... That number. And then grab 8 with them. Alright, so this turn, we're getting their extra key. Alright, we're looking pretty good. Just under 500k with 30% damage reduction. Alright, and... Oh, actually, we might kill him here. We shouldn't have grabbed the 18 key now that I thought about it. It was nice to see that attack stat, though. But we might actually take him down here. But look at that, 9 million. We take those. Oh, okay, never mind. We're not going to take him down. Alright, post super, double super actually, we should take this alright, yeah, there we go. Alright, we have definitely got the 10 hits by now, but look at that, 16 million this turn. You'll love what he's doing for his partners. Alright, and they're gonna go ahead and wipe the floor with him. Boom. Alright, and then now we're just going to go ahead and toss 
Urku in front here. Let him die so we can get back to the next rotation here. Oh yeah, definitely. Perfect. This all works out. because of me. <laughs> Alright, excellent. Oh, did he do what I think he did? Yes, he did. He... Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess Vegeta being there isn't the worst thing in the world. Alright, so... Alright, let's do that. Alright, there is no super attack by Ice here, as we can see, because since we got his full passive up, right, um, by being hit all of those times, we can actually see his super attack, right? Ten time hit, we can now see his super attack. No super attack. So... Vegeta should be all right, and we can go ahead. And what what'll be nice? This is actually, you know what? This is actually really really good for support a turn because Vegeta is going to get hit first and activate his support. So let's go ahead. Let's do this. Nice! 11 million, you love it. Alright. Okay, let's go ahead. We're not going to use the LR Super Saiyans active. As much as I want to use it, I want to get um, Goku to attack here. And I'm pretty sure they're going to they're gonna clean him out here. So, very nice. Alright, so look at that. 12 million tapping out on the attack with the support. Um, very nice. And we get the double super. So, capping out at about 500k defense with 30% damage reduction. Not too bad, honestly, right? Like, that's not the worst. Um, and that's, that's start of turn defense, right? Capping out at about 500k. Uh, I think post super he gets a little over a million if it's on the active skill turn. Um, I'd have to double check the exact numbers there. But um, post super he's actually pretty darn good uh, with the defense wise. So that's why like if you can actually put him in an event where he can get attacked and then as a third slot, that's honestly the best place for him. Um, at least up until he's fully built up. Then you can kind of sneak him into slot one depending on the event. Like on Fuse Zamas, you could probably get away with tossing him in slot one if he manages to get fully built up. Um, it's a little dicey, but if you know you're going to finish the turn and you've actually got his active skill, then it might work out, right? Um, especially because, you know, Fuse Moss loves to throw out a thousand attacks in the turn, so it, it could work out. Uh, Sen Shenron, he works really well in because he gets plenty of time to build up. Uh, haven't tested him in Omega because we don't have that on Global yet, but. You know, so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I don't think he really aged out that hard. I do think Birdku probably aged a little better than he is. Birdku got a huge glow up with uh, the LR Super Saiyans. We're going to do his showcase here soon. But I did want to check out these guys since we have rainbowed them since the banner. And I know many of you guys were asking to see that rainbow showcase. So we wanted to make sure we got this out. So, guys, that is it for the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know what do you think of LR5 guys here? It's a year year later we've pulled them on the double rates at rainbow status how are you liking these guys so far let me know in the comments down below and what do you guys think of them as a good partner for the lr super saiyan trio the buff that he provides to them with that super attack effect i think is really really helpful um for them just to put in out that damage much sooner much quicker much faster but let me know what you think in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and 
Aloha.